Hey everyone, Tank and Sign here. If you guys didn't know, the next major update is just around the corner, scheduled to come out probably by late September at the very latest. And as such, we've been getting crazy dev blogs, including things like the MPT 2000, T90 Bishma, and today's no different. We are learning that the F16C Block 50 will be coming in the next major update. This will be, of course, a jet fighter. It will be rank 8, and I'm assuming 12.0 BR, unless they increase BRs, maybe 12.3. The biggest improvements on this vehicle are going to be the fact that it will be better when it comes to close air support and it will have an improved engine now this will have eight hard points and will also have access to new guided bombs including the gbu 12 paveway 2 and gbu 24 paveway 3 being 500 and 2000 pounds respectively this will also have access to lightning 2 and also agm 65d maverick missiles so this is a really really capable aircraft and it will be able to carry at least, from what it looks like, six of those AGM-65Ds. Now this will also, if I haven't already mentioned it before, have access to a better engine, so it will have more static thrust, so before afterburner, basically just your regular 100% throttle sort of thrust, or any percent up to 100% throttle, it will have more thrust in that regard, and I'm sure it will also have slightly more afterburning thrust as well, so this will be a bit faster, but I should probably retain about the same level of maneuverability. Now, while of course F-16s are being used for close air support and War Thunder currently, and it looks like they will be used more so after this comes out for close air support, most people probably use them in air battles, and this will have pretty much the same exact weapons as the F-16A that we currently have. So we'll have access to AIM-7 Sparrows. It doesn't specify the variant, but I'm going to imagine here that we're going to have the same exact AIM-7 Fs, Ms that we currently have on F-16s, and it will also have, of course, access to AIM-9 Ls. So nothing special here, nothing yet at least. We're not getting any word on AMRAMs with this, but this is a relatively advanced version of the F-16, but again, more so it's going to have advances in close air support weapon rather than anything for air to air but of course that engine will make it a touch better when it comes to air to air so this will be an improvement in that regard regardless now that said let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below again the devlog doesn't specify that this will be coming to any other nation that this will be a specifically u.s jet so i'm kind of interested to see if maybe other countries will get variants and they're just not mentioning it i wouldn't be too surprised but either way thanks so much for watching again please like comment subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments below what do you guys think about the vehicles that have been coming out recently as well that have been mentioned in devlogs they are pretty damn wild but thanks so much and i'll see you all on the other side take care everyone